Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm MCC graduate Andrew Creer, and we begin with a great story about our MCC Veteran Centers. The Veteran Support Group out of Scottsdale teamed up with the college to create vet centers on the southern campuses, and then recently came out to check them out and present a check for the cameras. We have already delivered this money. Yes. It's already been put to use. Yes, it has. Such a great donation from the Scottsdale-based nonprofit c for vets which stands for Support, Education, and Employment for Veterans. They help bring these veteran centers to Kingman, Bullhead, and the Havasu campuses. Having a place where they can congregate on their own and get out of the, uh, the mainstream of what's happening on the campus is something that I think gives them a little bit of relaxation. Uh, helps them, the tutoring center's right next door, so uh, if, if they need some tutoring, the, the tutors are, are handy here, and uh, it's, it's a perfect setup, it really is. We couldn't agree more, and the Bullhead City and Lake Havasu City campuses recently held ribbon cutting ceremonies for their vet centers. The mayor of Havasu, who is a former MCC student, Cal Sheehy, was also there for the big event. So was Mojave County Judge Mitch Kalali and Fire Chief Brian Davis. Mayor Sheehy was also at the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new virtual patient simulation lab. The college held ribbon cutting ceremonies at the Havasu and Bullhead City campuses. The high tech labs feature a computerized replica of a human that mimics health problems and injuries that nurses will see in real life. This is the most technologically advanced equipment for nursing students and it's now on all MCC campuses. MCC is gearing up to be your go-to school for electrician training. The college just hired faculty member John Rowe, who's working to get the program retooled and ready for the fall semester. Rowe was an electrician for nuclear power facilities for the past 40 years and spent a lot of that time traveling around the country fixing electrical issues at power plants. He's excited to help start the college program and help teach future electricians. It's kind of been a dream of mine. I've been an instructor for four years. And I've always wanted to put together a program. He also says electricians are in high demand right now, and that demand is only expected to rise. Read more on the homepage of the college website. Just scroll down to Mojave Wire section, click on the headline, MCC Sparks Up Electrical Program. The college has been so successful in improving student success rates in math, that it's been invited to a national conference to show other colleges how MCC did it. Abigail Gomez teaches transitional math at the Havasu campus and will be one of two college employees giving a presentation at the Higher Learning Commission National Conference in Chicago this April. She and enrollment manager Tricia Hanks will explain how the college's innovative project to prepare students for college-level math became such a big success. The work that's being done, uh, has been done, has continued to be focused on, is incredible. Uh, my enthusiasm is shared with everybody involved. The students, the faculty, the staff. We knew what the problems were. The students felt it. And the fact that we have um, outcomes that are impacting uh, lives in a positive manner and we're seeing it spread across the community college, it's fantastic. The college started the transitional math project after traditional methods of instruction failed to see improvements. You can read more about the project on the Mojave Wire online at mojave.edu slash Mojave Wire. We have more outstanding employees making news today. Let's start with Bullhead City Campus Associate Dean, Dr. Jen Woolston. She's been published in the book, Theorizing Ethnicity and Nationality in the Chick Lit Genre. Woolston authored chapter four in the book, I Live a Fabulous Asian American Life, Ask Me How. The book is currently available on Amazon. Enrollment management specialist, Megan Knox, has been asked to give a presentation at the National Student Clearinghouse Conference in Las Vegas. She'll be sharing information and answering questions about how the college is able to create a nearly perfect report it sends to the National Student Loan Data System. And MCC programmer Russ Isro will lead a presentation at the Genzibar Annual Conference in San Diego. He'll show how MCC was able to link the computer software system Genzibar with other internal systems to increase efficiencies. That's something other colleges haven't been able to do. The college recently teamed up with the Bullhead City Police Department and the Prosecutor's Office to share safety information about dating. In recognition of Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, a presentation was held to highlight the red flags to watch out for. People also learn how to handle different situations and what a healthy relationship should look like. To get a list of dating safety information, contact your local police department. And to help raise awareness to end dating violence, MCC employees wore orange last month. Every campus was involved. Special thanks to Danette Bristle and Michelle Martin for organizing the awareness events. Speaking of safety, a record-breaking snowstorm hit Kingman in February. About 14 inches of snow covered the area, while the North Mojave campus received about 8. City and county emergency managers advised people to stay off the roads, and for the safety of students and employees, the Kingman and North Mojave campuses were shut down. But online classes continued as scheduled. Congratulations to our All Arizona Academic Team! Erica Highstand and Sunshine Boylan are two of the five MCC team members. They recently attended the State Awards Ceremony in Phoenix. More to come on all five. Stay tuned to the Mojave Wire in the next MCC newscast.
More than 600 7th graders from Kingman toured the Neal campus in the past week. College recruiters worked with local schools to set up the tours. It's in an effort to get younger kids to start thinking about college and let them know the benefits of having MCC in their hometown. The kids will visit MCC Havasu campus and ASU Havasu next year. Don't forget, if you have a college story that you'd like to see on the MCC newscast, go ahead and send it to us at mcc.mojave.edu and you could be our next feature. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.